Hey, it's Madison Chase with Vibe Magazine, and I am here on the set of The Next 15 with Karamo yes. Brown. And you come a long way. You started with Oprah Winfrey, and now you're on The Next 15. Tell me, how did this venture come about? Sure. So, um, Carlos King and I, who's the executive producer of this show, Housewives of Atlanta, he and I have been good friends for a while, and he saw that I've been trying to take my career to that next level. He's like, we see you working, the stuff you've been doing with Oprah, we see you working with the stuff you've been doing with CNN, but he's like, we need to get you, his exact words, we need to get you popping again. <laughs> and um, he was like, I have an opportunity for you, so I want you to come in for it and it's been doing exactly what he said um, just bringing me back into the masses mm -hmm. now on the next 15 mm -hmm. people have such a negative connotation when it comes to reality television what are you doing differently to dispel the, the negativity um, I don't think I dispel it <laughs> no, no, um, you know we where the thing is is that with reality television, you take the most dramatic moments of our lives. And dr drama doesn't always mean bad. It doesn't always mean cussing, but it means that's what fuels people to want to see it. And so, you know, we, you see a lot of us, you see for me working hard, you see me being a father, um, but you see the dramatic side of me being a father. You see the dramatic side of me trying to put together a project. Um, you see me being shady. So, you know, it's all those things. So I don't think that reality will ever be able to get out of that rep or anybody will be able to change it because the nature of reality is drama. Right. And I agree with that. When you're talking about, like, uh, the Super Bowl that just recently happened and Russell Wilson and, and Cam Newton. Cam Newton is an incredible player. And that one incident is not the totality of who he is. Exactly. So reality television is very similar in that sense. Like, you're taking one incident and that's not the totality of who you are. Completely. And the thing is, is that even with our show, we break the fourth wall where you get to see the producers. Mm -hmm. But even with that, you still... <laughs> just see just a piece like you don't see the full conversation of the producers you see just a piece you see just a piece of this moment but all together I would say this is probably one of the most entertaining shows um, I mean New York's catchphrases on this show I'm sitting back and I remember recording them and falling out and I'm sitting back watching it as a fan and still falling out laughing because she's a mess now what would you want people to know about you because I feel like a lot of times with reality television there are some things that people don't necessarily know about your backstory to make them feel more endearing towards you so what would you want people to know about you as a person as a father as a host as an entertainer what would you want people to know about you well the thing for me is that a lot of uh, a lot of things because of my reality experience I was straight out of college I was 22 mm -hmm. and now I'm about to be 35 mm -hmm. so really for me it's not so much of what I want people to know to let them get on my side or mm -hmm. um, it's more so just seeing my growth mm -hmm. because a lot of people saw me as a kid on real world now I'm a grown-ass man a sexy ass grown-ass man ha doing his boss stuff right. and I think that's really big especially for me being a gay black man mm -hmm. is we don't have that many representations and I like the fact that the audience will get to see me working closing deals they'll also get to see me raising a child as a single father you know and that's like stuff that you know is invaluable so I'm just happy they get to see like oh last time we saw him he was fresh out of college now he's actually working and doing what he do yeah now, social media is huge when it comes to live tweeting for shows like Scandal. Yes. Uh, are you guys live tweeting during the show as well? Oh, yeah. I live tweet every episode at Karamo Brown, which is my Twitter handle and also all my social media handles. And literally, I like to engage because the thing is, is that as I was talking about with Tiffany New York Pollard, I'm like, last episode we had, she has this line where she says, it's an inner cry bitch. And <laughs> on the, <laughs> cause she's crying and there's no tears. And she says, it's an inner cry bitch. And I fall out on the show and I fall out again watching it, like I was saying. And I like to engage with the fans to let them know what you're experiencing. Even though I was filming it, I'm right there with you. There was another scene where New York and Claudia um, got into a fight um, in the middle of a restaurant and I was in the middle of it and all I was remembering was the Asians in this restaurant coming over to us like 
can you please be quiet? Like, can you take this ghetto stuff out of here? And so I like to give the fans a little bit of tidbits so they can see that. So yeah, we're definitely live tweeting throughout the whole entire episode. Okay, perfect. Now, can we follow you on Periscope? I'm a huge fan of Periscope. Yes, you can. Yes. Actually, I was Periscoping a little bit before here. We're going to have to follow each other. Yes. So um, yeah, I do. I think the thing is, is that social media is one of these amazing things where you get to get people's comments immediately. Um, during the show, we put together a talk show that we start pitching, and this show is called The Comment. And it basically takes that social media element and gives fans a real place on a talk show panel. Because, you know, you have the view, you have, you know, the real. And every once in a while, you go to a tweet, but we actually make um, the social media fans our co host and so they actually are the ones that are asking the questions. They are the ones that get to confront the the celebrities, the network stars. And I think it's really important when you do that because that's where we're going now. You know, no one wants to hear us as hosts and journalists anymore just talk. They want to get their questions in there and ask you why you did X, Y, and Z. Right, right, right. Which is really incredible. So... Thank you so much for uh, talking you. to me and Vibe Magazine. We yes. appreciate it. And First of all, and she is just so fly. Can we talk about that? <laughs> the vest, the shoes, the pants, the hat. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. You heard it here first from Karamo Brown, so make sure you watch the next 15. 